Nice. What's up, guys? We're rigging some swordfish baits. One of my favorite and probably one of the most unique baits that you can rig for swordfish is an octopus tentacle. Okay, very similar to a large squid tentacle. It's a tough bait to get your hands on, but it's an absolutely awesome bait. I mean, look, you can even look at all of those suckers right there. Very, very streamlined. As you can see, snake-like. So it has incredible swimming action. More importantly, it's very durable. It's like hard leather. Very hard to a sword for a swordfish to rip that off the hook. Let's just put three of them on ice here. Right there. But like with all baits, you're going to need some tools. Really, really important. We'll go over them. You're obviously going to need a knife to just, you know, trim the bait. You're going to need scissors, an ice pick, crimpers, rigging needle, all of that basic stuff that you would need to rig any other swordfish bait. The components, we use VMC 8700. The number of the hook is an 8700 10-0 Southern tuna style hook. It's a stainless steel hook, incredibly sharp, incredibly strong. The Mustad is also has a hook that's comparable. Uh, we've got Mamoy 300 pound leader material and because I'm rigging multiple baits I've already cut my coil into four sections each section is six or seven feet long that's plenty for a leader right to the uh, bait itself so I like to have them pre-cut crimps the appropriate diamond Mamoy silver lock sleeves for the 300 pound test you're obviously going to need these okay these Go with that leader, you can't mess it up. And finally, some skirts, and we only use these beautiful Zack Attack uh, skirts. They're incredibly durable, really vibrant, a variety of different colors, a lot of contrast, a lot of uh, you know glitter there and flash. Look, they all work, I'm telling you right now. A swordfish is not gonna swim up to that bait down there and not eat it because it doesn't have that skirt on it. That's just not gonna happen, okay? It's more about how the bait is swimming, what it looks like, what it moves like, and what it smells like. And that's another reason that I like these baits. They're fully exposed, they have a lot of natural scent. So first, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab my hook, and I should say again, look, take your time. I'm gonna eye up the bait, kind of just imagine where i want that hook inserted in the bait i'm going to cut the front bluntly right there just so we have a nice edge remember that's going to be pushed up inside the head of a skirt now at this point once again i want to eye it up and i want my hook to sit right in between those tentacles really kind of just like that and i want the eye of the hook to end up right where you see it because that's where i'm going to crimp the end of the leader and obviously we want to make this as durable as possible and not be able to remove that hook out of that octopus right there. So now that I've eyed that up, I'm going to make a little cut. I kind of see that it's right there. You've got a little leeway here, but you can make just a small little sliver. Again, take your time, okay? And now what I'm going to do is take an ice pick and using the ice pick, I'm actually going to go into that hole try and stay right down the middle and I'm going to create a channel okay right there just kind of work that through a little bit that's the channel where I'm going to put and insert the shank of the hook right there okay and then we'll take our hook pop it in and you can you can kind of work it there it goes right there right up inside and once again we'll move that pick and there's our hook. It's gonna sit in the bait right there. Make sure everything's nice and centered, looks perfect. I really like how that's looking right there. So that hook can just sit aside for a moment. Now we grab a piece of leader material. This is, once again, 300 pound. Okay, I slide a sleeve right onto the leader and it's about six or seven feet long. That's all that you need to rig that bait and make sure you take the end just using a pair of scissors or shears just cut that to a real sharp point the end of that leader right there it's going to make it much easier to insert through the octopus into the eye of the hook to come out the other side 
What I like to do here to make it even easier, using that ice pick right there, I inserted it through the tentacle, through the eye of the hook, and boom, just came out the other side. Now, of course, grab that hook and make sure that obviously you went through there because if you didn't, you're, you're clearly gonna lose a fish. So I kind of just drill that through and I leave it inserted. I grab my leader, because remember the idea now is to remove the ice pick and to insert the leader through the octopus and through the eye of the hook. I'm also keeping the hook as steady as I possibly can so the eye doesn't wobble back and forth and I end up missing it. So that comes out, there we go, and that, perfect. So once again, you can see we went through the octopus, through the eye of the hook, and right out the other side. I'm gonna double check, pull on that hook, make sure that you went through that loop. Okay, or I should say, make sure that that line went through the eye of the hook. At this stage, we're gonna insert that leader, the tag end of the leader right into the crimp, and I'm gonna bring it down, but don't cinch it all the way down. That's enough right there, okay? Don't cinch it. Leave a little bit of leeway. Remember, there's gonna be a skirt sitting above it, and that octopus tentacle is gonna be inserted up in the inside the skirt. I do make sure, however, that my sleeve is straight. I want the sleeve in line with the hook. Everything has to be perfectly streamlined. Let me turn this a little bit for you here. You know, you can see how everything is just perfectly straight. A bait that's off in any way is going to spin. You're not going to catch fish. It's going to tangle. So you could see everything is just perfect. And if it's not perfect, do it over until it is. Okay. Now at that stage, we'll put that down. You can even get one more look at it right there before we crimp it. Just using standard pair of crimpers, go down to the appropriate hole, leave a little bit of the crimp sticking out the end, put the bottom of the crimp on the table, the bottom of the tool on the table, and cinch down tightly. That's it. Slide it over a little bit more, do a second, finally all the way to the end, uh, once again leaving a little bit of that crimp protruding, you don't want to damage the leader, and cinch it down tight, and boom, perfect. Once again, I'm constantly checking it. I'm constantly making sure my alignment is perfect, that everything is sitting ideally. Okay, now at that stage, you almost can put a skirt on, but what I like to do is just add at least one stitch. Okay, and I'll actually stitch the top of that octopus right to that loop in the leader material. Loop, you need a rigging needle, closed eye, okay, obviously some rigging thread. The number 50 is perfect, doesn't matter the color. Bring a little piece through, just spin it, okay? And all I'm doing here, as you can see, I wanna go through that octopus one more time and just create one stitch. Nothing fancy, okay? Really easy stitch here, but it's just a little bit more security, okay? I'd always cut yourself plenty of this. I cut myself a little too much, but plenty of rigging floss. Just a double overhand knot. Okay, once again, and you don't want to go too tight. You're stitching it, but don't cinch it down ridiculously tight. And then do another double overhand in the opposite direction. Okay, pull your tag ends, boom. Okay, and then at that stage, we'll use a pair of scissors or a pair of shears and just cut that tag off. Obviously, discard of all of your trash properly. And it's just one more level of security. Now, perhaps the funnest part is putting on the skirt, right? So, I don't know. Let's, let's say this guy. Let's take a look at that right there. Selecting the skirt is almost everything here, right? It's what we all look forward to. So, I think that's absolutely going to look perfect. I'm going to poke a little hole or just cut a little hole in the top of the skirt where I can insert the opposite end of the leader. So, it doesn't need to be huge. But right at the top there, you could either use a pair of scissors, you can use a knife, okay? You can use even your little ice pick. Boom, that's plenty right there. And I'm just going to go up to the other end of my leader, insert it up into the bait. Again, as I mentioned, one of the advantages of these octopus and squid tentacles is the simplicity of rigging. Very fast, very easy. 
almost no stitches. It's almost like an eel. Okay, it's just like rigging an eel. It's, you know, it, that too is a very, very easy bait. And then I manipulate all of the legs on the skirt. Once again, this is a Zach Attack skirt. You don't want any of those legs jammed up into that head. There we go, right there. Just slide it down. And really easily, I'm going to pull. Perfect. And make sure that the meat, the flesh, there it is. You could feel it up inside, up in here. That octopus tentacle is all the way up in that head, exactly where we want it, right up in there. The hook is sitting perfect. Before I stitch it, let me show it to you one more time here. Perfect. Look at that beautiful. Hold on. There's a couple legs stuck in there. Let's get those legs out of there. There we go. Everything looks perfect. Every leg is out, very streamlined. But you can see it's kind of long, right? And even though tremendous action, I'm afraid that may get wrapped up in a leader. So I like to trim that bait a little bit. Maybe we'll bring it down to there. Still gonna have tremendous action. I wanna cut a bunch of this skirt off because I don't want the skirt really to interfere with the natural scent, the natural swimming action. Just wanted to prevent the bait from getting washed out, help it be a little bit more streamlined, also a little bit of a bigger profile. There we go, that's more like it. It's just a beautiful octopus skirt. Let's sew that head on, that skirt, make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And I like to lay, if there's ever any stripes or any sort of pattern, I take that pattern into consideration when I'm sewing the head on. And in this case, I want that pattern to be, I don't know, we'll say, is there another one here? Yeah, so we want those right on the side. So it really looks natural, like lateral lines on an eel or squid or any sort of eely like creature that lives down there. So you could see we have those stripes right on the side that pattern like that just gives the bait a nice natural appeal make sure those are in position before sewing it on you're going to go through the skirt make sure you go through the octopus inside there just one more time it's another connection point another piece that's holding the entire thing together you know this bait is not multiple pieces it's got to be one piece Everything has to be uniform and consistent in order for this bait to, to really perform well. Boom. Okay, you don't want that skirt sliding up if a swordfish hits it with its bill. And that's it right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an octopus tentacle. It's also a deadly swordfish bait. This fish was feeding. Well, he ate the wrong bait.